Well, hello there, Papper people. Grandpa Lanky here. Now, in addition to being a registered polysomnographic technologist or a sleep tech, I am also hella cheap, like cheaper than you know. So I reached out to the sponsor of my channel and I said, hey, can we maybe do a little something to save a little extra scratch? Because I noticed you guys always run promotions that are way better than 20 Lanky. And uh, maybe maybe help out the people that watch this channel. And they were like, oh yeah, that's that's a good idea. We'll stop undermining you at every turn. So that's what this video is all about. These are the items you can find at CPAPsupplies.com. So if you're getting started on CPAP for the first time and you're looking for some CPAP supplies and some suggestions on masks, machines, accessories, this is where you find it. Even if you've been on this stuff for years, but especially if you're just starting out and you don't wanna screw around with a bunch of crapper masks, etc. Now check the description box down below for where you can easily find these at cpapsupplies.com. And don't forget, you can always use discount code. This is only good until the end of August. Discount code LANKY25 will get you 25% off. Um, excuse me, Jason. Aren't my shans, uh, excluded from this offer? They are. Why are you including them on this list? Say something, say something, say something, say something funny. funny. Just say, say something, something quick, quick, quiet, quiet. quiet. Just, ignore just ignore it. it. In today's society, there are some words that are just flat out vulgar. And unless you're talking about brownies, mm, these are moist is one of them. People just simply don't like the word moist. It's like wet, but not really. And that's especially true when you're talking about your CPAP equipment after you wash it, clean it in the morning. That is why I highly recommend and love Number one on the list, the Hurricane Dryer. What I like to do after I clean my equipment, set this thing for 60 minutes. It auto dries everything. It has a little tube attachment. It dries out the tubing beautifully. Dries out all the masks. Dries out all the little nooks and crannies of any CPAP mask that you're using. It's a fantastic device available at CPAPsupplies.com. You can get it for 25% off. You're welcome. Number two on this list is VCOM. Now I started using VCOM way back in November, like very late November. And with very rare exception, have I removed it from my CPAP circuits. Now this goes between my mask and my tubing. What it does is it decreases the inspiratory flow when I'm breathing in. This is only with CPAP, nothing else, no APAP, no bi-level, no ASV, just straight CPAP. When you inhale, it decreases the pressure. When you exhale, all the pressure is still there. Now for me, what it does, because it decreases that inspiratory flow when you're inhaling, you're expanding your lungs, the machine has to ramp up. It slows that down, keeps air from getting into my mouth, from getting the chipmunk cheeks, and it makes it very, very comfortable. Also minimizing air aphasia if that's something that you are susceptible to. Fantastic product, I would greatly, highly recommend it, unless you're using specific masks, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Next up, we have three CPAP machines. So this is three, four, and five on the list if you're keeping track. We have the AirSense 10 auto set. We have the AirSense 11 auto set, and we have the AirCurve 10 V auto. All these are fantastic machines. Now, what's my criteria for a fantastic machine? Uh, it's reliable, it's quiet, and it records data that you can view on Oscar. All, all three of these machines do that and do that very well. Now, I'm such a big proponent of using static pressures. So if you're on bi-level, a pressure on inhalation, and on exhalation, and that's it. No, no increasing and decreasing throughout the night. Same with CPAP. So for me, if you're talking algorithm, I think all algorithms on all machines suck, including these. So at that point, it's really irrelevant. And as of right now, if you check out CPAPsupplies.com, the AirSense 10 auto set is super cheap. It is under $600. That is a phenomenal price for a machine that's been around a very long time and has had very, very few problems. I would definitely check that out. Next up, you know what, friends? Sometimes even when people are taping their mouths, I'm a big proponent of mouth taping with a nasal or nasal pillow mask. Sometimes though, you got yourself a heavy jaw and you need a little extra support when you have your tape on. Tape's on, your jaw's heavy, it falls back and the tape eventually rips during the night or, or peels off. Sometimes people need a little extra support and a chin strap is a great way to go. Now there is a very, very inexpensive chin strap on cpapsupplies.com called the premium chin strap, <laughs> premium. It does a very good job of pulling the jaw straight up and it's very, very cheap. You do not want one of those chin straps that pulls up and back as that will pull your jaw back into your airway. 
The other times you're gonna want a chin strap is if you're on a full face mask and you have a jaw drop. Your jaw's falling back, creates a gap, almost like a mouth leak, super disruptive to sleep. Premium chin strap does a very good job in eliminating that. And for a phenomenal price. Remember, discount code LANKY25. Next up, we have Kissing Cousins. If you're keeping track, this is seven and eight on the list. We have the Air Fit F20 and the Air Fit N20. So we have a full face mask and we have a nasal mask. These are fantastic masks that have a fantastic extra feature, which is actually nine and 10 on the list. We have the Air Touch Cushion on both of them. Now the Air Touch Cushion, for one, these are great masks in and of themselves with the silicone cushion. If you add the air touch cushion, if you're a bearded man or you're like me and every now and then you just get sick of the feeling of silicone on your skin, it's fantastic. Now, they say, they being ResMed, says that these only last about 30 days. That's bull crap. They actually last a really long time. Now, maybe it's because I don't sweat in my sleep like at all. I'm a very dry, I'm non-moist. So maybe some of that has to do with the the air touch cushion lasting such a long time. I think I'm on about three months with mine now and it pretty much looks brand new. But what this does is it allows a little bit of air to seep under. Your skin is able to breathe really well. And if you have a lot of facial hair, like with the F20, the full face mask version, it does a very good job kind of contouring to your facial hair, minimizing leaks with a full face mask. Speaking of full face masks that also are very leak free with especially bearded men or women, is the Fisher and Paykel Viterra. This is probably my overall favorite, actually it is, it is my overall favorite full face mask. Now the silicone on it is very, very pliable. It, it is very contoury. It'll, it'll contour to your facial hair. and also has a thing, a little pivot up at the top, where if your jaw falls back during sleep with jaw drop, it'll actually rotate down, covering up that gap. It's called like the hingy, Flippy thingy, I can't remember. Roll fit, it's called roll fit technology, I think they call it. <laughs> it's silicone that bends and they call it technology. Anyway, Fisher & Paykel Viterra, fantastic mask and it's usually much cheaper than a lot of the other masks. Next up, we have the Airfit F30. Excuse me, Jocelyn. <laughs> right now? Oh uh, yeah, Jocelyn, is, is this a mask that you said was like sticking your nose? And a butt crack? Ignore it. Ignore it. Just ignore, just ignore it. it. So this is a great mask. And a lot of you are going to say like, oh, no, no, no. I like the F30i better. The F30i looks pretty much the exact same. The headgear is the only part. The F30i is super difficult to get vertically up and down. If you want it to have more pressure under your nose or less pressure, the F30i sucks. It's horrible. It also attaches on the top of your head. If you want that, go for it but it's not on my list. The F30 is, it's very easy to adjust, get the tension just perfect all over, still fits up underneath your nose. You do have the tube coming out of the front, but I don't care if the tube comes out of the front because I pretty much don't move at all during the night. If you do, maybe you will like the F30i. Not on my list though, suck at F30i. F30, you are on my list. Discount code LANKY25. God, we got a lot of masks here. Jeez, I should have really ordered these better. We have the Fisher and Paykel Brevita. The Brevita is technically a nasal pillow mask that sticks up into your nose. I love this better than all other nasal pillow masks. This is one that is in my rotation. The Brevita is super, super quiet. It has a diffuser on the front. It's a gray color. It is dead silent. Without that thing on though, it's louder and it'll blow your bed partner right on out of the bed. With it in though, extremely quiet. You can't feel anything from even six inches away. It's fantastic. The mask itself is very stable and very comfortable. It has like a little bladder that kind of fills up around your nose, almost holds it into place. And the headgear is very minimal, yet it stays in place. Way better than the P10. Not on my list. <laughs> Not on my list. The Bravita by Fisher & Paykel is on my list. Lanky 25 if you want to save 25% off of that. Now, I put this in here on purpose. We have the Eson 2, also by Fisher & Paykel. The reason it's on here is one, it has a really stupid name. Eson is nose backwards. Get it? Because it goes on your nose. But the reason I like it, it's a no frills mask. There's nothing like, wow, that's, that's amazing. It does what? Oh, it pivots there. No, the Eson 2 is really just quiet and it does its job. It's like, it's like the anti-prima donna CPAP mask. If CPAP masks had jobs, its hands would be blistered and dirty 
at the end of the day. It just gets in there and it gets it done. Next up, we have the AirFit N30i. This mask was in my rotation more so. I started kind of not using it and the reason for that is one, it's a fantastic mask, don't get me wrong. Fits under your nose, it kind of cradles it, much like the AirFit F30 full face mask. Cradles underneath your nose, and it attaches on the top of your head. Now, typically, I don't like them when they attach on the top of your head, but sometimes I like the feel of it underneath my nose. The reason I don't use it is because I do use the VCOM. When you use a VCOM, and you have something that has an extra ex exhalation port up at the top, and you have that VCOM in too close, it makes a loud sound. Now, I would say most people would agree with this statement. Some are like, nah, it's still quiet. For me, it's too loud though, so I'd, there is a way to work around it. I have to take my climate line tubing, take it off, put on cheap effort tubing, and attach the VCOM closer to the machine. I don't really wanna mess with this, so I just kinda of stopped using it, but it is a phenomenal mask, and I do still highly recommend it. Very comfortable. Next up, number 16, if you're still keeping track, which we all know you're not, the bleep dream ports, the bleep dream way. Now this is the only mask that you can pretty much guarantee is gonna be leak free for the most part. There is no headgear. If you don't want mask lines, mask strap lines on your head, it's pulling your hair out, it pulls your hair, it slides up. You don't want the mask lines all over your face in the morning. This is the one for you. Now it is held on with adhesive. You put these adhesive stickers almost on your nose and it just kind of hangs there. Like a wiener. So if you suspect that your mask is leaking because you're digging your head into the pillow or whatever, this is not going to leak in that way. Any leaking that you have at this point is going to be mouth leak, which you can address in some other way, not for this video. But it's a great, great mask for maintaining a leak-free seal all night long and have no mask strap lines in the morning. Fantastic for that. Next up, number 17. This is very, very similar to the N30 eye mask I mentioned. That is the Dream Wear Under the Nose Cushion Mask. Pretty much looks the exact same, except that it doesn't kind of roll up around the outside of your nose. So probably if you have a wider nose, this is gonna be better for you because it's much flatter underneath the nose. But it's a cushion underneath the nose. I've been positive on this mask since it came out. It's an excellent mask. If you use a VCOM, it is gonna attach at the top. It is gonna be a little bit louder than other masks. If you don't care, you're gonna find that it's a fantastic mask for you. Next up is the most random mask on this list, and I actually think it's been discontinued. Someone correct me on that if I'm wrong. So, this is if you actually have no ability to breathe through your nose. Your nose is trashed. It's trashed. You are a, a bona fide, lifelong mouth breather. The Fisher & Paykel Oracle is the mask for you. Now you stick this in your mouth, there's a dial, and it kind of clamps on your lip, holds it into place. Now, this is going to require you to turn up the humidity, like the humidity, like really, really high. It is definitely not the mask for everyone, but if it is like specifically, you can't have any, you need a full face mask and you can't have anything going up over your nose, you can't get anything leak free, it's horrible, your jaw drop, you can't stop it. The Oracle, you pop it in, turn the dial, that baby is locked in. Will it take some adjustments? Absolutely, but you can do it. And it is a really good niche mask or niche, however you say it, I'm not sure. And again, Lanky25 save 25% off all these masks and accessories. Next up is a crapper. I'm sorry, it has to be done though. CPAP filters, you can save 25% off of that. <laughs> so if you wanna turn that 99 cents into 75 cents, CPAP filters. Now these are super underrated. Just think of your, it's very important though. Think of your home HVAC system. Think of the work and the stress it puts on your HVAC system if you don't clean the filters. That motor is working that much harder to pull air in. Your CPAP machine works in, in the exact same way. It's gotta pull in fresh air for you. It's trying to inflate your airway and it's gotta have a nice high volume of air they can draw in. If you got a dirty filter, it's not able to do that to the best of its ability. Jolson, do you still have to change them every month? I think every month might be a little aggressive, but if you, if you pull it out and the, the sound changes a lot, you probably have a dirty filter and you probably need to start with a fresh one. So I'd say periodically, maybe every month, have it in there, have it running, pull it out. Does the sound noticeably change? If so, go ahead and swap out to a fresh filter. Because let's face it, some of us live in very clean environments. Some of us are a little dirty, a little dirty. I'm not judging, but you might want to change your filter a little more often. Next up is the sleep noodle. Now, 
why can't you just, now this is a positional aid. So if you are really, really bad on your back, which a lot of you are, and you're better on your side, you might wanna consider something like the sleep noodle. But Jawson, why can't people just put a tennis ball on the back? You can totally do that. You can totally sew a tennis ball on your back and it'll work really well. The sleep noodle, you can buy it and strap it on your waist and accomplish the exact same thing. Probably a little more stable, probably a little more effective. Yes, it's more expensive, but 25% off with a lanky 25. And now when I'm doing pap therapy analysis with people, I do find a lot of people are very clearly positional. And sometimes that, it's not the only option. It's just a really, really clear option <laughs> to get there a lot faster sleeping through the night. So check out the sleep noodle if that is something that you think you would benefit from. Next up, we have something that must have been made in Canada. It's called the hoser. Now the hoser is a CPAP tube management system. Is this something that you absolutely need? Absolutely not. But for a lot of people, and I'm gonna say especially people that use any of the bleep products or nasal pillow, anything that's a very light mask and the headgear isn't exactly strong, so like you P10 users, uh, P30i users, probably even Bravita users to some degree, anyone that has their machine on the floor and the tube just kind of hangs off, that's gonna be putting a lot of tension on that and kind of pulling at you. So having a tube, a tube holder, <laughs> having something hold your tube. Don't do it, now is not the time, resist the keep it mature. mature. Wiener. Can probably be advantageous. So I've seen some pretty funky setups, people using command strips on their wall, using like coat hooks on their wall. You can absolutely do that. No question about it, but that's very difficult to travel with or move around if you need to. So check out the hoser. I'm sure it's made in Canada and it smells lightly of maple syrup. And again, you can get it at a discount with Lanky 25. Next up is a tubing wrap. Tubing wrap, do you need it? You used to really need it when uh, there wasn't humidification systems that were that great, like it would, you'd get a lot of rain out in there. Um, anymore, I'd say if you have a cat in your household, a tube cover is a really, really good item. They like to grab them, put their little claws in them. Isn't that right, Stewie? He side-eyed me. So cats like to put their claws in these things and a tube cover can really do a good job in preventing their little claws from going through it. Tubing's not that expensive. If you need tubing, CPAP Supplies does sell it, but it certainly is a pain in the butt if you have tubing that has a hole in it. Now we have the last three on the list, number 23, 24, and 25. Now this is something you don't get a lot in the CPAP sleep medicine field. People seem to be trying to get you to spend money on everything. A lot of you are probably like, you're trying to get us to buy this stuff. No, CPAP user's guide. You're gonna have to get something anyway. These are just my favorite options for stuff. And you have a 25% discount code. So if you need a mask and you're not sure if you need a nasal mask or a full face mask, what I love about this is the Dreamwear frame, the Dreamwear full face mask headgear, and the Dreamwear nasal headgear. Why do I like all those? Because they're super interchangeable. So if you wanna try a full face mask, you can use the same frame from the Dreamwear full face mask as you can with the Dreamwear under the nose cushion, the Dreamwear silicone nasal pillows, or the Dreamwear gel pillows. I think I'm missing one in there. Maybe not, I don't know. All those Dreamwear, any Dreamwear product uses the exact same frame. So if you have a frame that fits, you can alternate it between several different mask styles. And that at this point, after crapping on Respironix for so long for their cancer foam, let's just pause for a minute to give them a slow and steady golf clap for having a mask system that's a little bit modular. Well done Respironix. Well done. Now, Grandpa Lanky has one thing that he just has to throw in. This is off topic. If you're looking at those CPAP machines, go with the Air Curve V Auto. It can function as an auto CPAP. It can also function as an auto bi-level. Oh, excuse me, Jocelyn. You said you don't like auto on your machines? That's true. I don't like auto, but when you're first starting out, Sometimes it's a fantastic way to try to zero in on a pressure. You can let it go up and down and see exactly how you respond throughout the entire night. And if you happen to be one of the people that I swear to God is like more than half the people I see that suffers from some form of upper airway resistance syndrome, probably gonna need bi-level long-term. So I would say if you're trying to decide between machines, Air Curve V Auto is a fantastic way to go as it is 
the most versatile of all the machines out there. Jocelyn, you're very nice for saying that. <laughs> I am nice. That said, let me know what you think of all these items, comments, this video in the comments section down below. Check the description box. I'm gonna have links to every single one of these masks that I've done, every single one of these products that I've reviewed. So you can take a look at them in much greater detail. If you wanna have a pap therapy analysis with me, check out axgsleepdiagnostics.com. Use my Amazon affiliate link as I greatly appreciate that. And check out cpapsupplies.com. All of these are gonna be found there. You can use, like I said, discount code Lanky25. It's only good until the end of August, 2023. So if you're looking at this video in September, you're too late. Too late. You're too late. And with that, good night, Papper Snappers. Clean your stinky mask with some Mask Bright available at Amazon. Thank you to all watching, but an extra thick <laughs> thanks butter to Doug Toombs, Jason Georgiades, Patricia Espalong, Sarvesh Joshi, Stuart Hetherington, Mona Swaringen, Chung Tu Chen, Edward Steiner, Deborah Permute, and Shannon Kerr, and another slightly less thick thanks buddy to all the other YouTube members, Patreon supporters,